as we've been talking about this yearling bull, we have to think about when, when do animals achieve puberty? When do they become sexually mature that they're, that they're able to uh, produce sperm or, or, to, or to ovulate if they're a heifer? And, and, and that's really, there's, there are real, some real breed differences. And if, and if we think about some earlier, earlier discussions in the genetic section where we talk about different breed groups of cattle where we have English or British cattle that are primarily uh, Hereford and Angus and Red Angus and Shorthorn, and then the continental European cattle that have, are basically uh, Charlet and Simmental, uh, uh, Gelvy, uh, Limousine, and then uh, the American breeds uh, that we, the Beefmaster, Santa Gertruda, Simbra, Brayford, uh, uh, Brangus, Red Brangus, Simbra, and then of course the straight American Brahmins, both red and gray. Uh, we have some developmental differences as we go to puberty uh, based for really on two reasons. One is mature size uh, and that uh, those animals that typically have smaller mature sizes uh, tend, to, tend to reach puberty at an earlier age. And, and there is actually a, a slight effect of milk production. So those breeds that give a bit more milk, even if they are of a larger size, those animals tend to reach puberty a little bit earlier within that breed group. Uh, and then as we go to the Boss Syndicus cattle, uh, the American breeds that we talked about, those that have some Boss Syndicus influence or Brahmin influence uh, primarily, uh, plus either English or Continental, they're going to be just a little bit longer, okay, than those other breeds. And then the, then the, then the Brahmin cattle tend to ha are, are the oldest at puberty. And if we just kind of had a timeline, we could say that British cattle ought to reach puberty somewhere between 12 and 14 months. Uh, continental European cattle somewhere around 13 to 15 months. Uh, American breed cattle somewhere between 14 to maybe 16 months. And then the Brahmin cattle at 15 to maybe 18 months. And you, there are going to be cattle that are going to be out on one end or the other of that extreme, but that'll kind of give you an idea of how puberty, uh, 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 of the range in puberty in those breed groups. Now, heifers and bulls or males and females of a breed will reach puberty at about the same time. And that's really a function of a couple of things. Uh, one is a function of mature size or weight and also age. Uh, so they have to be at that kind of appropriate age and, and somewhere around 60 to 65 percent of their mature weight. And they're going to reach, some will reach puberty before then. Some may reach puberty at 50 percent of their mature weight. But in terms of getting good fertility, we typically say 60 to 65 percent. Uh, of, of their mature weight and, and within that age group. Uh, and, and nutrition has a lot to do with that. Uh, you can't really starve a heifer or a bull uh, while you're trying to develop and expect that animal to be fertile. And so the animal has to have good nutrition. He has to have good, steady nutrition throughout that period that you're developing him uh, to get him to come into, uh, come into puberty at the right time. Uh, this being a yearling bull, he may or may not pass, uh, but we don't typically test a whole bunch of yearling bulls. Uh, we test uh, some bulls that we typically a little bit longer in their age, uh, typically 15, 16, 17, 18 months, up to two years old and older. Uh, and, and at any rate, if they don't have a good semen collection, what we'll do is we'll turn them back out, give them a little bit of rest, and retest them. And, to get him to pass.